coming up, it's a tough time to launch a business. We'll show you where local entrepreneurs are turning for help during this challenging time. But first, we have an update on an assault in Rapid City. Good morning, this is Kelly Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. We are learning more about an assault in Rapid City. As we first told you on Kelloland News at 5 and 6 last night, three people were hospitalized early Thursday afternoon with serious injuries. We've now learned that 39-year-old Richard Montanez has died from his injuries. And late Thursday afternoon, suspect Alec A.J. Dismounts Thrice was arrested in Box Elder. He's in the Pennington County Jail facing various charges, including first-degree murder and attempted murder. Sioux Falls police are looking for a man and woman driving a stolen vehicle who may be armed. It all started on Sunday. Police say that's when Jerry a Swift Eagle borrowed someone's SUV but didn't return it. When the owner tried to get it back Wednesday, police say Swift Eagle threatened him with a gun and drove off. A little later, police say Swift Eagle tried to steal another vehicle at knife point. In that case, a woman was driving the stolen GMC Envoy and tried to hit the victim more than once. Swift Eagle got back into the original stolen SUV and the woman drove off. A little later, a trooper spotted them and there was a chase. That ended in a, Sioux Falls, a central Sioux Falls neighborhood. There was a crash and Swift Eagle that, and the woman ran into a home. The SWAT team was called in, but the home was empty. There's likely going to be other charges that will be coming, but uh, we've got the warrant out for these main charges. If you have any information on the case, call police. Sioux Falls police are also investigating a casino robbery that happened early Thursday morning. Officers were called to Jackson's Casino along Minnesota Avenue around 1.30 a.m. Authorities say a man demanded cash and alluded to having a weapon, though he didn't show one. Police described the man as Native American in his late 20s who was 5'8 and was wearing a bandana. While turning to weather now, Kelloland could see a warm-up for the weekend. But will it last past the weekend? Let's find out with meteorologist Brian Karstens. Yeah, that answer looks to be no. The weekend is about it for now. So enjoy the start to a warm uh, Labor Day forecast. And today we've got that warm weather out there. That's part of our headlines. I think 80s are for many of us. And then uh, tomorrow, could, could it hit 100 in Rapid City? I think so. And I think Sioux Falls could easily be in the 90s on Sunday. But by the time we get to Monday, everybody's going to be cooling. There's a lot of changes coming down the road. Uh, which we'll explore that in a little bit. Uh, slight risk of severe weather tomorrow night. Keep that in mind for southwest Minnesota. That's another piece of the forecast. And there are your numbers. 83 today in Sioux Falls. More on the weather in just a few minutes. And a lot of business owners are feeling the pinch of the pandemic. The Zeal Center for Entrepreneurship knows that's true. The resource for budding business owners has been trying to be a safe haven for the companies that operate under it. There may be a lot of uncertainty, but Executive Director Brianne Maynard says its support for entrepreneurs remains. Yeah, we're in tough times right now, but this is your chance to rise to the occasion. And our, our city is so strong and so resilient in itself. There is some good news. One of the businesses that started here, Oxenham Group, our recruiting and consulting firm, is ready to grow and move out on its own. The pandemic has led to an uncertain times for many across the country and even right here in Kelloland. About a month ago, Fernson started a community cabinet at its downtown location to help those who may be in need. Recently, they partnered with the Bishop Dudley Hospitality House to become an official collection point, taking in non-perishable food items, along with personal care and hygiene products. Bring in an item and you can even receive a discount on a beer. People seem to be really excited about it uh, and people, you know, I think are looking for ways to help out right now. And this is an easy way to help out and also get a discount on some beer uh, to reward yourself. Richard says they will update a need and wish list on their Facebook page. He says they plan to keep the community cabinet in place for the foreseeable future. And that's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Karstens. All right, weather. Well, as we fast forward into the start of the weekend, there's a look at tomorrow afternoon. Hot weather, fire weather watch in effect for southwest South Dakota. And you can see why with temperatures nearing 100, low relative humidity and a breeze. And that's all, you know, just something that you should be thinking about here that uh, we've got to be extra careful on point sources of fire concerns here. And that's probably also a story on Sunday. Mercury still in the 90s. Sioux Falls area and east, there'll be those thunderstorms right behind me Saturday night. So if you're watching in... Uh, yeah, southwest Minnesota, you could get stormy weather here Saturday evening. I think that'll blow out of here Sunday morning early. Another pretty hot day on Sunday, mid-90s in Yankton, but you, don't, you notice the north is not as warm. 
in the lower 80s. And the big changes are coming in starting Monday morning. We'll probably drop temperatures uh, slowly here Monday morning, but faster during the afternoon as the rain appears. And yeah, don't get locked in on anything that feels like summer there on Monday afternoon. It'll be in the upper 50s. In fact, some spots could cool into the 40s with the rain. And yes, it could start snowing in the Black Hills by Monday night, early Tuesday, not just a uh, little chance. I think it's pretty good odds it will snow at least some. And Sioux Falls probably get some rain out of the deal, which we could use some of those showers after some drought weather. Here's a sneak peek at Labor Day. Official forecast is still at 71 in Sioux Falls, but it's very early on that. I'm more inclined to dropping these numbers as we get more information on that. 50s likely for highs on Tuesday. Rain chances at 50%. 58 on Wednesday, still below normal all the way to day seven. Aberdeen, big change to that Monday high, 58 showers in the forecast, both Monday and early Tuesday. I do think things will have a tendency to clear a little bit Wednesday, and we'll have to watch if we get a little frost in some areas of South Dakota on that outlook. I think Pier will be cooler, obviously, and rapid. You're gonna go from 100 Saturday to 49 for high on Tuesday. More on these details online at Kelloland.com. Have yourself a great day.